Runk. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. So, I'll be in Kelowna coming up here February 9th. I mean, the most chill way to, to So, if you start. want to come out, cool. If not, all good. Welcome to Lifeline, everybody. <laughs> it's episode, I don't even know. What episode number is it? 95. 95. 95. The year I was born, 1995. Not true. Episode uh, 95 of Lifeline. We love doing this. We love that you're here. We love being here. What do you got to say? Well, I was going to say join the Patreon to, uh, for Lifeline Luxury and you get more episodes. Definitely. Like, Patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. Definitely, uh, but I will be there. in Vancouver. Chris D'Elia will be in Vancouver, Rochester, New York, Kitchener, Ontario. You know what? I actually added a bunch of new dates, so go check it out. Uh, go to yeah, uh, hell we got yeah, Grand dude. Rapids, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Saginaw. Never been to that. <laughs> Doesn't know where it is, dude. Michigan. Yeah, no, I do. It, apparently, it's a. I, somebody was saying it's a it's a big gay area. Saginaw, mm-hmm. the, which means it's nice. They're sagging off their pants and. You know, doing stuff with yeah, each other's it's not penises. That funny, but uh, just tying North it in. Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina, Chattanooga, Augusta. <laughs> I don't know if I've been to Augusta, Georgia, but anyway, I'm going all there. Go get tickets at chrislee.com. They are on sale right now. And check out Matt's new podcast, Private Record, um, the private record.com. Uh, I saw the second episode. Is that guy's story was wild? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Episode three coming out this Wednesday. Uh, someone's dad. So an with his sister-in-law. someone's dad. Someone's, someone's dad. dad had an affair with his daughter-in-law for years, dude. Okay, well, that's the craziest. That might be the craziest. It's the most that's soap crazy. opera episode, you know. I mean, that's porn, but okay. Basically porn, yeah. Uh, so go check that out, and go to watchlifeline.com if you have questions or uh, you want to uh, submit. And then you got the merch there at lifelinemerch.com, and then also you got this merch here at chrisley.com. Life rips. Can I touch it? Yeah. An 80s song. Can I touch it? Um, can I touch it? Can I touch it? Can I touch it? That's how it go. That's, That's how it song. will go. It's a good song. <laughs> um, anyway, dude. I already drank a magic mind. But What's with here. magic mind? I like you it. Drink it all the time. It's good because at it's the good. beginning of the episode. Because it What's gets me going. But everybody likes it. Anthony drinks it, likes it. Okay. Chris drinks it, likes it. Everyone likes it because it's good. It's a June. good product. Oh, dude, June. I like it. Um, my hair, rate it. We kind of match. Uh that's a nine. What? That's a nine for sure. <laughs> That's a nine. What's that from? I don't know. It sounds wow, like it's from something sh- though, right? June is shaking hey, a lot. June, stop being scared of everything. Dude, she well, wakes up and it's just like, oh, oh no. Oh no. You're, oh, you're no. a scary guy, dude. No, it's not me. It's not me. Scary. I woke up today. It's okay, June. Cal was in my bed <laughs> and he said, good morning. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, and... June. And so anyway, I, I woke up and I, I didn't want to get out of bed and I did. And then I drove down here and it was and it was uh, raining mm. and the rain sucks. Thought it was going to be a long time to get here. Dude got here so quickly. So that's good. So and were then, you here really early? Yeah. And then and then I was going to I, I was like, Kristen, I said, can I take your car? Mm-hmm. Because I, my, my car's in the shop. Mm-hmm. My Mercedes is in the shop. And she was like, no, because I have to take Calvin to school. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, OK. I didn't want to drive my really nice car downtown. Mm, yeah. So I'm like, I'm, maybe I'll Uber. But okay. then the alarm went off. Dude, Kristen hit the snooze button and I, 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 and she didn't get up. And I was like, Calvin's not going to school. Oh, Calvin. really? Yeah. So, so now I got, so I got her, I got her car, which is basically my car too. But dude, when he's older, that kind of thing is going to be like the best. Oh, dude. Life. Well, he will now we, though. He's probably like, take me to school, dude. I want to like. Yeah, me, but right? but he, so he loves school. But he today he woke up and he thought it was before school. It was already after school because she was in bed when I got up. But I mean, a Christopher Nolan movie. What is happening? It was. <laughs> yeah. Was so confusing. Uh, so, before school, but it was after school. So when they woke up, woke up. It was after when they should have woken up. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm in the shower, and Calvin comes in and just goes, and then runs and goes in peace, and then. Cool. Um, and then uh, Kristen said, um, he said, good morning. He said, good morning. And I, and then I said, so I guess he's not going to school. I could take your car. And she mm. says, yep. And then Kevin said, I don't want to go to school today. Mm. Already. So it worked out for everybody? Yeah, everything worked out. Everybody's honestly. happy? She got more sleep. Kevin didn't have to go to school. And I got to drive the car. That's good that everything worked out at your house. Because I woke up real anxious. Really? Just, dude, it was one of these. It was, 
anxious. Oh, you know, dude. just roll out of bed. How how many days out of a week, or like, what was the percentage you wake up anxious? Honestly, lately, I hey, I can't even believe it, but lately it's like six out of seven days of the week. Mm. Yeah. I had that a few, like a month ago. It was every day I woke up anxious. Is there anything better than after, like you don't realize it, but you come out of a period like that. Yeah. And then one day you wake up and you realize you're not anxious and you're yeah. like, oh my yes. God, it's awesome. when did this happen? It's awesome. Yeah. Why did I no, change? I How do I make sure that never happens? Yeah. I try to dec- I try to understand why, because like, okay, I had, I was doing the road and waking up anxious I get home, wake up anxious. I got home from Albuquerque, and then I, 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 I went on stage at the Improv in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and I had a great set. It felt so good. And then I had another great set. I did two shows there, and then I, then after that, I didn't wake up anxious anymore. Hmm. I, and it was just because like I felt so good that I was at home. I had my family, and I wasn't on the road, and. You know, I just had a good night performing. Mm. It, it also wasn't my crowd when I went up, and I was, you know, I've been performing for my crowd a lot, you, you know. But like when I'm a guest, it's it's, and I do well. It's more satisfying because sure, who's, who's oh, these, it? yeah, these people, uh, David Lucas, it was his show, yeah. Oh. But anyway, it was it was awesome, and and I haven't been anxious since. Although it's probably right around the corner. Oh yeah, you it know? always it always is. Here's another good thing. <clears throat> Hit my head uh, about <laughs> three months. Maybe I would say maybe it's two months ago. Okay, in a in a, did I talk about it here? I hit my head on the. Um, I don't know. You definitely didn't on the uh, in in a Sprinter van. They oh, had a wait. shelf in it. I think we did talk mention it. You told me. Yes. I don't know if it was on the show. Or I think not. it was on the show. Anyway, we don't have to get back into it. Not a big deal, but uh, and not interesting. But what is interesting is every now and then since then, when I move my head like this, every very now and then. Somebody shot me in the back of the head. <laughs> Lightning rod, dude. One Lightning time, rod. sword from the top of my skull, shing down into my. How long? My had, how long ago was this? Two months ago, like I said just now. I wasn't listening to that. Part. Yeah, it's interesting. So two months ago, and every very now and then, I'm talking about every five days. It's just oh. crazy, and it never happened before. Yes, dude, and it never happened before. And you and you get older, and you experience pain, and it keeps happening, that's and it's true. never going to end. That's and true. that's great, dude. No. And it was all because I just fucking we we pulled off to the gas station to go pee pee. And then we pull back on, and I fucking hit my head on the shelf in the goddamn Sprinter van. So who are you going to blame it on? Because you're not going to blame yourself. I'm not. No, I'll blame it on probably. <laughs> I think it was Denny's fault. Denny probably had to go pee. I Denny think Love, it was either yeah. Denny or Lulu. I can't remember who had to go pee. It might have so been Sam. Even it wasn't even you who had to pee. No, oh, I never so have to pee, dude. So it's their fault. I'll tell you what, dude. I never have to pee when I'm traveling. It's oh. the craziest thing. What about normally? Always. Okay. But that's, what is that's that? That's really weird. Yeah, yeah, it is weird because, dude, when I do my Zoom meetings, I have like men's groups and shit. I'm, I have a Zoom meeting. Sometimes I have therapy for hours, right? I got to pee like three times during the, the, the Does session. Does it have anything to do with the fact that you know you can't pee when you're traveling? So you think your brain maybe, does a little bit of Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. It, it might. I thought about that. Yeah. It's crazy I, though. I can't believe how much I pee. Do you, How much do you wake up at night in the middle of the night and pee? I mean, I'm peeing right now. Uh, wow. I, I wake up. Uh, I dude, weirdly, I used to wake up like two or three times. Now, same, either one or zero. When was that, but dude? When I wake up, mm. the amount that I have to pee. Oh, dude, it like in the past year, it's gone. It 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 bad. It's like at war it's, with it's, my desire to stay in bed. Here. Yeah, it's like it's like it's from yes. filled up to here yeah. to, with piss. Yeah, exactly. Dude, any slight uh, movement, it might even come out. You know, because you got to use a muscle. Well, you're talking about when you're in bed. When I'm waking up, any if I get out of when I'm getting out of bed, it's mm-hmm. like I move like this to get up, and it might like a little bit might come out. Oh, something. I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. What did you think I was saying? The amount I have to go pee yeah. now is yeah. it's oh. like my bladder grew oh, like the Grinch's oh. heart. Oh, maybe I don't know about that. That's dude, not me. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't me. Nah, nah, B. But dude, I I can't. Believe, dude, I'm there and I'm going. And I'm like, oh man. I'm like, oh man. I gotta stop peeing. I'm tired. Oh man, dude. And it keeps going. I'm like, surely it's done soon. And then it's not. And I'm like, oh dude, I just want to go back into bed. I'm just waiting and just tinkling. It's crazy. By the end, you're just like fully awake because it took so long. Yeah, and it's yeah. And, it, and you know what it does? Pisses me off, no pun intended. But nice, dude. But um I hate waking up to pee. And I do it at, at, it's always like at 6 a.m. I, I wake up and I, I go. I'll go before I go to bed. And then if I 
still haven't been in bed in 30 minutes. I'm like, let me empty it out. Let me top it off. You're you're on top of emptying it out. Yeah. It, it, dude, always at 6 a.m. I wake up and I'm like, every morning I wake up and I think, should I go do it or should, can I sleep again? Uh, I think I'll be all right. And then I wait like 20 minutes. So I'm like, gotta go. Yeah. You always, you always should, should go. But that's why I want to have diapers. Well, don't. No one's stopping you. I thought you had. I, thought I you do, had and I diapers. piss the bed. They go so far. They go everywhere. It's not enough. So get a. It's not enough, mate. Get I, a bigger diaper. No, I need a bag. I need a colostomy bag. That's not what, dude. You if need. I slept with a big, big, the diaper big enough would be so big. I'd be like bubble boy. I mean, like I you'd, need. We'd roll into bed. Yeah, I need. I need a. Somebody got to make a big diaper, not for uh, I bet, seniors. I bet they do. No, make a big diaper for 40 year old men. but i bet there's big diapers for great big fat people that you can get even though you're not a great big fat person. i'm gonna look into it if somebody knows leave drop a comment under life somebody knows for sure um a lot oh. of doctors listen to this show so let us know are yeah. they made to put to just have like a full piss no no the, 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 the depends for seniors are supposed to be just for little leaks out of the penis well why even bother yeah. if you're gonna make the i diaper, didn't know that i got because i got the heavy flow well, not one. you why bother i'm saying why bother oh. they make them if you're gonna make a diaper let it hold the whole the whole show i mean ima but just imagine pissing like a half liter into a fucking <laughs> like what's gonna hold that Evaporate it, evaporate it, evaporate it. But that's what I'm soak saying. Soak it up. Soak what it up. is going to soak hold it up? That? Soak Nothing. it up. Evaporate it, evaporate it, Matt. evaporate it. Soak it up. Soak it up. Soak it up. Matt. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. So I was going to tell a great old story about hitting my own head, but you know what? We should start. I'll well, let's it. just I'll do it. At, we'll luxury. do a lifeline luxury. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. So um, sign up for that. Uh, it's a great story. Patreon.com slash lifeline luxury is, is a wild head really hit, head hitter story. Yeah, oh, it's wow. actually utterly hilarious. But yeah. Oh. Okay. Tooting your own horns. Tooting. Whoa. What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? What's up? Need some advice or an opinion. Um, me and my wife have three boys. We don't really want any more children. Uh, we don't want her taking birth control because mm. that turns her into a psychopath. Ah, so I'm thinking about getting a vasectomy. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on it? <sighs> I'm like 90% sure I want to do it. The other 10% of me thinks, nah, don't do it. You're a man. You need to mate, breed, reproduce for as long as you can. Hmm. But that's the animal part of my brain. Yeah, so sure. Right, I don't really yeah. know. What's your thoughts on it? Got the appointment scheduled. Oh. The operation seems really awkward, but that could turn into a funny story later <laughs> if you want to update. So yeah, yeah, sure. get a vasectomy. How do you feel about it? Let me know. Um, get, get a vasectomy so you can tell us how it went. No, uh, I mean I think do it. You, you can't you reverse them nowadays? You can yeah. Yeah, definitely do it. It's also from what I understand extremely, extremely not invasive yeah for what it sounds like yeah yeah I, I i couldn't do it for the reasons he's saying or you just don't like the idea i just don't it. like the idea of yeah the, i get that it's just, it's just I, weird to me I, and, I, and i don't i don't mean it's weird if you do it i mean for me i would no, feel yeah, weird i get yeah. that it's, like i i just I can't, I can't wrap my head around it for some reason it might be stupid but i just like ugh, man yeah i mean it is a really 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 common extremely low risk thing yeah you know? well it's not about the risk oh it's not oh no it's about uh, but that's my stuff that's how, but, you know what i feel like that about lasik surgery like everything oh, really? for every reason i should get it but i'm like those are my eyes well for dude. lasik for me it, it the risk is the thing that scares me that's it is there much risk no. involved still mm -mm, no. yeah it's not even the risk it's like i mean i guess it technically is but it, yeah Everything it's just a weird thing about my eyes. No, uh, my my balls thing is not a risk thing. It's uh it's uh but that's part of me, and that's weird. It it's in a way, it's like when I didn't want to start taking medication because of my OCD. I was like, yeah, but I. Well, that's I, kind of what he's saying. He needs himself to be intact in this way because that's how kind he's of. But designed. it's not a mate mating thing. Sure. Yeah. It's not a you know. I don't think it's a biological thing for me in my head. Yeah. Um. But yeah, if you know you don't want kids and your wife isn't going to go not eat, I mean, I, I agree she shouldn't. If it if yeah. it really messes with her her mind yeah. and, and yeah. brain and the way she feels, definitely don't, you know, obviously she shouldn't be on birth yeah. This seems like a simple solution because again, you can undo it. And plus you already have three kids. Yeah, you know you don't want yeah, more I, kids. I, you know you want to be with your wife. You uh -huh. love, you have a great situation. Obviously mm. you want to keep going, ee -oh, ee -oh, ee -oh. you know what I'm saying? So like- yeah. I mean the imagery that's up. Dude, on the I mean they cut right the tube like that. Yeah, I could never. No Let's way. Let's see. Wait, leave it out. The glands. No. Okay, so the glands of the penis is going like this. The scrotum well, my, is under my, that. Does it? Is it? Because my penis is much bigger than that. So does it? Like it hangs way, way, way below my. Yeah, balls, this is. So. This is. I this don't is get this. Like, this um, is like this doesn't apply to me. This is. It's no, way but this too is small. more like yours. No, this is way too small. If you have to. 
this is I don't even understand. That. Okay, so hold on. Uh, After, I can what never are they do saying? It. Oh, the vast. The they, they actually cut the cord. I oh, the vast that. difference is divided. No, that's not the vast difference. No. Okay. So all right. So that's too. That's too much. Yeah, but uh, no, that's so if you're gonna do it. So easy, dude. If you're gonna do it, do it. Uh, and 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 you should, but uh, yeah, not for me. I, I it makes me feel weird even thinking about it. Honestly, this is a horrible, horrible graphic. This is so unclear. It's exactly how it should be. What oh wait, mean? never mind. I see it now. They cut it. They, it literally, it's exactly. But what, it what be. part do they cut? Where am I looking to see what the, the nuts? Book, the the thing that's a, a close in circle. Uh, what do you mean, dude? Oh, no, there's a glare right there. I, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they put the lights in. Chris put the lights in the wrong yeah, spot. Yeah, he did. He put the lights in the wrong spot. So okay. Um. All right. So uh. Yeah. That's so easy, dude. Get her, get her done. Hey, so as they say, get her done, uh, I, you know? I, I talked to somebody who had a um, uh, vasectomy, and he, and he was like, "I did it so I can have sex with my wife and not worry about it." And mm -hmm. um, and it's just ew, ew, and, and I was like, "Oh, that's crazy." And he's like, "But I just love." He, he legitimately was like, "I love having an orgasm like inside my wife." So I was like, "Okay, wow." Well, well hey. that is as direct of a good yeah. reason as you could possibly get. So good go. for him. I just realized what why it's called a vasectomy. Because they're cutting the vast difference thing. The yeah. vast difference. Yeah. I didn't well, you, oh I'm sorry, Dr. Chris. Oh, I knew that. I, I don't know. You knew that it's called a vasectomy because they snipped the vast difference. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. I don't vast and vast. Wow. So just start from a vast and vast. I don't know. I just think. Okay, I, man. I mean, do obvious. it. I mean, wow. You know what a vast deference is? Yeah. What? Why? We learned about it in school. Okay, man. Well, you also learned I about a lot of other things that you don't know anything about, right? Yeah, yeah. But but when it's about penis, I, <laughs> penis, I, I pay attention. <laughs> okay. Okay. I believe that. Yeah. Anything penis related, you were very. Hey, my Chris, long Hell time yeah, fan of the poster. show. Chris, I'm coming to see you in Vancouver. Nice. Nice. Um, reason why I'm calling in today is I was in my car at a set of lights, uh, the first car before the crosswalk, red light. I'm just looking this way and there's this guy that's crossing with a backpack. So I assume he goes to school, which I'm better than him. I have a career. He's also walking and I have a car. I'm better than him. Anyways, he's walking across <laughs> the road and he, we make eye contact. He looks at me and he laughs and covers his laugh what? and continues walking, laughing and looking back at me. And guess oh. if that's been keeping me up at night. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Am I insecure? Am I an idiot for days after still wondering uh, what was he laughing at am i that funny looking or is no. he the psycho for presumably laughing at nothing with no one around thanks maybe he just That's a great was question. doing it you know i th th this stuff happens to me all the time and i always think oh it's because they know who i am or something like that like sure like the, like like yesterday i was walking to my car and somebody uh i walked in front of someone's car i was i was the guy in the situation yeah, the other yeah, guy yeah. Yeah. and they and they were ahead it was one of those I don't know, like weird vans that had like a huge glass front and they let me go, which is always kind of annoying. I think it's, it's like, just go cars, go, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Cause they're being nice. It's you like gotta be like, thank you. But door open from too far away. Yes, exactly. You what that's exactly what yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah, that's the worst. <clears throat> so, so as I'm walking across, they flick the lights, which I'm like, oh, I don't know. It could mean anything, right? Cars coming, watch it, out. It, it could, could be, mean go. Could but, mean hi, yeah. could be hurry up, could be anything. And I'm like, oh, and then I see, I look, because she keeps doing it, and she's going like this, and I'm There's like, just a train about okay. to hit you, you know? yeah, yeah. But I'm like, <clears throat> like if it wasn't me, I would be like, oh, what's going on? But obviously, I'm like, oh, she's a fan, you know. Okay. And she was like, and then she drove by and said, I love you, oh. and we got married. And we <laughs> so, but um, <laughs> no, but like that kind of stuff happens to me all the time, and I always default to, oh, they know who I am. They either like me or hate me, right? Like no matter what, like whatever happens, I judge it in through the lens of that. Sure, yeah. Being somebody that doesn't isn't like in the I, I, no public persona that would whatever. drive me. That would I have a thing to be like, oh, it's that. If I didn't have that, oh, I see it would make saying. me go. It would make me go crazy. That like yeah, you'd have to be like, I okay, know. I have to let that go. I don't think it would bother me, but I get it, and I I understand <laughs> things like that. I always chalk up to just like people are so wired so different and insane too yeah and it's like who the hell knows what was going on mm -hmm. in that moment like i i doubt even hearing the reason would satisfy you in any way true so and also like, they I, you know what i would do i think is i would think oh they were fucking with me that's what i would do because i'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist yeah you are now. i'm starting yeah. to be i yeah. want to be more 
It's so weird to like <coughs> become more of one in your 40s. You know? I, I want to become one more. You're like aspire to that? It's yeah, I would like hard. to be the, <clears throat> Yeah, but you have to really feel it. I want to really genuinely feel all of the conspiracies and believe all of them. Why? I bet I, I, it's probably so stressful, but honestly- No, it's, it's the opposite. That's why they do it. That's why they believe it. I free my mind. Easy man. answer. Just talk about freeing my mind and stuff. Oh, dude, you got to do your own research and free your mind. Yeah, those people I'm seem not enough very of much theorist. like they have it figured out. There's nothing. I'm a very, very, very extremely low end. Uh, I believe in like two. Two of them? And they, one of them is JFK, and we know that's well, actually I mean, true. So. I think inevitably, because there are so many, there has to there be are at least ones. a handful that are, that are not exactly correct, that's but the thing, yeah. are about things that are definitely yeah. fishy and weird, right? JFK is not even a conspiracy. You know it's more than one guy. Okay. <clears throat> what? Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've yeah. looked into it so much. I used to think for sure it was more mm. than one guy. Now, I honestly, I, I don't know. Mm. And it's so frustrating that we'll never know. Like, come on. Come on. Just let it out. Let the documents out, but they can't, though. But they Why? can now. Fuck it. Yeah, they can They now. can, dude. Yeah. What do they think the world's going to like? No, it's so stupid. Who, nobody even really would do anything. Everyone now. who had anything to do with it is dead now it's anyway. It's so long ago. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I, it totally makes sense. You're not crazy. You're not even. You're not. It's not that you're insecure that you're remembering that. No, no, no. It, no I no. guess it could be. I mean, if, if yeah, if you're beating yourself up about it, and be like, oh, am I ugly? But like, right, yeah. You know, you could be like, oh, why? Why is my right side of my mustache running away from my left side of my mustache? You could be like that. And I don't mean to make you insecure, but that is what's happening. Is that pull, he didn't pull have any the guy's hair, face up? Hair, I don't remember that happening. Any hair in the middle of his thing. Oh, and, you're and, right, and, dude. And that's okay. Right? The mustache is running away from the middle of his lip right. and itself. His center. mustache is going like this. Fuck, fuck those nostrils. That's yeah, what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, also saying "fuck you" to each side of the mustache. Mm -hmm. One side saying "fuck you" to the other yeah. side. So, but I would say that uh, you're not insecure. It seems like, honestly, you're pretty secure. You seem like you a don't, cool dude. You don't seem insecure. Let me at all. let me tell you right now, you're not somebody that you look at and laugh at. No, and and, and if you were, I would know it. Sure, yeah. But maybe you never know, dude. It could be some like real weirdo who sees a guy that looks like that and is like. Yeah, for dude, like a totally absurd reason. When's the last time you you have certainly looked at someone and laughed because of how they look, right? I mean, I don't think so. I've done it recently. Really? I I, I laugh. Just like you catch a glimpse yeah, of them and start laugh. laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, it made me do. I, they weren't even that weird looking or dressed odd. I was just like, how funny that that person has a life and like look at what they do. You know, yeah. I was just I must have been high. I don't yeah, I don't yeah, smoke yeah. weed, but I must have been high off life or something. High off life is what you were. Yeah, smoke weed every day. <clears throat> We got another one in, <clears throat> in the chamber. Hey, Chris and Matt. Nice. Um, Great I presentation. Love both you guys. Mm -hmm. and How do you do? And I have been a baby a really long time. And then also, I loved your old podcast, Matt. And I'm uh, really excited about oh, cool. the private record. Oh, nice. yeah. And also, next Me time too. I'm in LA, you better come to my show. What? What's All right. Your show? Well, anyways, I had a couple questions for Did both of you guys, me? and they kind of go hand in hand. So I thought I'd put them together. Okay. My first question is about so I was on a date recently, and um, I got drunk on the date and I ended up asking if I was prettier than a celebrity and huh. the celebrity in, in this case was Taylor Swift. And so my date huh. paused for a minute and then said no. Huh. Oh. And then said, why am I comparing myself to celebrities? And then said that they weren't more attractive than another attractive guy celebrity. Okay. And so it was kind of, it was a kind of little tiny argument. Um, huh. and then my second question was, so after that argument, I decided to continue to dig that hole. And so I was like, okay, well then what would you rate me on a scale of oh, one to 10? You're really asking for it. And, yeah. and then they gave their answer. And of course I didn't like it. Right, yeah, it, you're not gonna. Cause it wasn't a 10, right. everybody wants a 10. Right, right. Um, so I guess my question is, um, like is two. it normal or totally a question i shouldn't ask or anybody mm. should ask to compare yourself to a celebrity to somebody and then also is it also another one of those questions you shouldn't ask to ask somebody to rate you on a scale of one to ten with attractiveness what a great question um would love cool. to hear your thoughts what a great question with a completely obvious answer though okay go ahead i mean don't ask you, you, you're well, not no, gonna... the answer is you don't ask if you don't or if no, here's what it is. Don't ask if you're not prepared yeah, for an answer sure, yeah. you don't <clears throat> like. Like if you're on a date <clears throat> with someone, I, I I would presume you really want them to say ten or yes, you're prettier than Twi Twiller Sift. Twiller uh, Sift. And Far so Lake yeah, Lake. don't. You're, Look, re you're really asking for it, dude. dude. Imagine you're on a date and you're just like, you cut your thing. So, yeah. 
Am I better looking than Christian Bale? <laughs> Yeah. Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> you know he has no lips. <laughs> Those two, you know. Um, <clears throat> dude, I can't. You know Kenneth Branagh has no lips. What are you talking about? Like, well, it, what? Are so you simple. About? Kenneth Branagh has no lips. How does a person have no lips? Well, I mean, you know, there's people with no. But lips. he has lips. You're you're saying they're small. They're they're on the inside. Then I don't see them. Really. Can we pull please up pull Kenneth up a Branagh. picture of Kenneth Branagh? It's crazy. It's like he's a Simpson. How could he have the career that he has? Well, what do you no mean? Lips? Directed Thor. He's a big Shakespeare actor for his yeah, whole life. Yeah, yeah. You don't need lips to do Shakespeare. He's got I would argue straight up true. no lips. Oh, they're really thin. Look at that. Isn't that weird? They're like just like on the Isn't that weird? Bottom and They're top like part. Muppet, Muppet shit. Like it just closes. Look up Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, you know, worst impression. <laughs> yeah it's pretty crazy <clears throat> hey man i never thought look about at that. that you never did huh it peaks a bit when he smiles right like it's a, revealing a little bit of i mean pink. does it no a upper little, one zero no, upper, upper one. one's gone bottom one reveals a little bit I mean, even look at the smile. one look at look at him in the fucking on the, uh, dumb on the left, shakespeare on the left yeah. no 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 don't, lower, no, lower, I, want, lower, I did lower. want that one I, want, I know but i want that one look i mean even that but again a little bit on the bottom right that's a slit that is that is not he has a slit those are not lips that's so weird yeah those are shakespeare one you know Anyway, Can I see dude. the Shakespeare one, please. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. See that one. There you go. Wow, look at him there. It's awesome. I'm gonna dress. I gotta like wear that. that. Yeah, we should. Dress yeah, like look that at that no outfit. He's dressed like he got wrapped in curtains. <laughs> like he <laughs> opened up the window and had an accident. Accidentally. Um. <clears throat> all right. So I mean, even the fucking collar. Um. Wild outfit, huh? Yeah, I don't like. First of all, wh wh why would you? I don't know. Taylor Swift, that's like, such a weird one, you know. Like, I mean, I guess she's so I would, famous, but I would presume that she came up. Yeah, I, right? I, would, I would think so. I, that's what I thought. She was like, "Yeah, look, I, I'm I'm sympathetic to your cause, but you can't be asking questions like that if you don't want the actual answer." Uh, the problem is, you probably asked it and thought, "I am prettier than yeah, Taylor Swift." Yeah, and then it's flipped. And on then you. when someone disagrees, which is obviously they're right, you know, uh, then you're gonna dislike it even more than if the person just said it. Apropos of nothing, right? Um, but the the rate me out of ten thing is like the most asking for it thing that that there could even ever be. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a big no no. To be like, hey, am I more handsome than Kenneth Branagh? Isn't that crazy? I, I guess. guess. I don't but know. That, what if they rate say me no? out of ten is crazy though? Is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's really asking for it. So you just like you ask a question. So I'm a 10 out of 10. What do you think I am? Because <laughs> anything other than that is wrong, but go ahead. I would never go on another date, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, that's crazy to ask that on the first date, I think, honestly. Yeah. I thought she said second date, but still. Yeah, we don't. Whatever, want whatever it is. We don't want that. Uh, we don't, uh, yeah. don't want to ask questions like I that. I mean, I don't know. When you, when you say shit like, <clears throat> like Christian is always like, like she'll be like, that guy's so hot on TV mm -hmm. or something, you know? Mm hmm and I'm like, yeah, or no, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm like, that guy's handsome, right? And she's like, yeah, like last night or like two who's nights hot ago. To you, as a guys? Yeah, as, as guys. Uh, the dude who plays Negan on um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah, he's really handsome. He's handsome. Yeah. Um, uh, I watched the Postcard Killings. I mean, whoa, wow. He's in. The, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Conversation. Is that so movie is trash I, it sounds like i don't even know what that is though it's so bad and he's in it and, he's in a lot and his daughter dies in the in, in the movie like before the movie starts like he, he's the guy whose daughter dies and he's smiling the whole movie <laughs> it, it, it's so weird he's just like wow looking for my daughter and you're just like be sad wow wow anyway what a so choice he, you know he's, he's handsome <clears throat> yeah okay george clooney's handsome i have a type those i was gonna say those guys are so similar i have a type yeah. uh but also like i like other kinds of guys too you know Okay, but who then? Who's Kristen like? She thinks we were talking about how he's handsome. The Je Jeffrey, what was his name? Dean, Dean, Morgan. Dean Morgan. Have two names, not three, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so she thinks he's handsome. She thinks uh, you know Jason Mo is handsome, which to me he's big and handsome, but it's it's like what is he doing with his everything? So he's a bit much. Yeah, he's a bit much. Yeah. Um, Just <clears throat> visually, there's a lot going on, you know. Yeah, I don't know who else is good looking. Christian Bale's cool looking. Cool looking, I would say. I think Michael Fassbender is real handsome. Yeah, he's 
Yeah, he's he's handsome. Yeah, she thinks he's really handsome. Yeah, mm-hmm. but he's like fucking wafy. He's like super thin. Yeah, I, I, I don't like I don't, that. But I don't see. I don't like muscly guys. Wow, we're getting well. Deep. They don't have to be muscly. But, but he's he's kind of muscly in like a wiry way. Michael Fassbender. Yeah, but like, well, I don't want like a buff dude. Vince Vaughn's hot. Oh, okay. And he's Vince not muscly Vaughn now or back. Well, oh, back then I don't know what he looks like now. Yeah, no one does. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways. Right. Okay. Next. What's up, Chris and Matt? I'm listening to your guys' last week episode, and a lady was just talking about how she lost 70 pounds. Oh, right. And people are saying she's skinny and all this stuff, and it made me think about the double standard and what is appropriate to respond with. And typically, when someone says that, they are usually not skinny or bigger. So yeah. when they say you're skinny, can you say you're fat? Right. right. Or how does that work? Uh, I'm, you know, yatted and stacked, so it's all good. But occasionally people <laughs> will be like, oh, you're looking skinny. And I want to say, well, you're looking fat. So yeah. yeah. What do you guys you should. think? Let me know. Thanks. <laughs> I think you should. I t- stop me if I've said this before, but I remember I was really young. You were maybe 16. So mm-hmm. I was like 12. Uh, remember that dude, Kian? Yeah. Kian Kalahi. Yeah. Kian Kalahi. I mean, wow. The nicest what a, guy ever. What an amazing name. Uh, well, he wasn't nice this day. Oh. Because he said to you, you uh, he's talking to you, and he's, you guys are busting each other's balls. He said, "You got a you got a big ass nose." Yeah. And you said, "Yeah, I remember." Yeah, well, you got a big ass. Yeah. And that was good because he was a big dude. He was a big dude. Yeah. So the answer is, and I still remember that. However, many years later, many many years later, uh, and I, I think about that because a lot of people, my whole life, have told me I'm skinny, and none yeah. of those people that tell me that are skinny. Right. No skinny person ever like you're skinny. Yeah, yeah. They're just saying it because they're yeah. the opposite mm-hmm. of skinny, which is called fat, and they don't like skinniness in their presence. And even though it's not really an insult to be like you're skinny, they make it one. So yes, of course, right. in that situation, someone in my situation can say, "Well, what do you mean you're fat? Right? right? What what are we talking about here? You know what I mean?" Uh, but yeah, it sucks all around. It sucks that you even get put in that position. I hate this shit, man. I hate when people do that kind of thing. Also, that guy, it looks fit. That's what he, he, he addressed that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just, it's, that's annoying that when somebody says that. It's so annoying. I mean, who, who also, I mean, we talked about this when the girl called in, but like, whoever is like, you get, you're getting kind of fat. No one ever does that. Yeah. And, and and why is it, like, what is going on that is so strange that is culturally and socially okay to be like, you're too skinny and not okay to be like, oh, you're getting a lot of weight. Yeah. You fat fuck? Whoa, you fat fatty. fuck? Whoa, fatty. Yeah. Um, it's really weird, actually. Like, the more you think about no. it, the weirder it yeah. is. Whoa, dude, you, you're getting ugly. <laughs> you're looking bad when you get older. You keep looking worse and worse. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I said I saw someone the other day. They looked great. I love when I see someone that looks great, that they look better than they used to. Oh, okay. like, well, bro, you look great. Yeah, he really looked great. And you know what he said to me? What? No, dude, you look great. Oh, he had to say that. No, I. You know what? I mean, I'm kidding. But no, yeah. you're you're right though. There oh. is that. Okay. But the way he said it made me believe that he was going to say it anyway. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And let's let's not. I look good. Let's okay, not kid ourselves. Not, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah. Great. 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 Everything's great. Hey guys. So, I was staying at a hotel um, in a different town, and I'm in North Dakota, so Blair it's Witch like Project. negative 18 degrees. Oh. Um, this particular day, so I came oh. down from the hotel, started my car, went back up. I had my kids with me. Um, we waited probably like 20, 30 minutes, and we came down to my car. As we're walking out, I realized that my car is not in the spot that I parked it. And I instantly got like panic, you know, my daughter's like, (laughs) why do you move your car? And then I realized that my car is just parked in a different spot. Hmm. So I'm like weirded out. Like, I don't even want to open my car door. Mm -hmm. Like I have my kids is somebody in there. Like, what the heck's going on? Mm. Um, And as I'm like inching up to the door, This lady comes up to me and she's like, oh, sorry about the confusion. My battery died and I needed to jump my car and whatever. Um, So I guess she just moved my car to get like someone else's car in there to jump it. 
Okay. And I just thought that was really ballsy and like. I um, yeah. I get it. No. I don't think so. Inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. I wouldn't have done that. I probably would have waited for the owner. And also, was she's in like way? in my car already. Why wouldn't you just pull the hood open and jump it with my car? Like at that point, you know? No. Um, That's I don't know. Overwhelmed. And obviously I was just like, oh, okay. Like relieved that my car wasn't stolen and like glad that nothing's missing and whatever. So I just like played it off, but it really kind of bothered me. Yeah. I don't know. What would you have done in that position? No. What do you mean? No, just... What they no. moved the car? If they had to move the car a little bit, it's not a big deal. It wasn't a little bit. Well, first of all, I don't agree that that's okay. Yeah, you can't just move <laughs> someone else's car. Also, how did they do that? Yeah. yeah, if it no, I think I think what she was saying was it was freezing, so she went in to warm the car up, so the keys were in there. I think that's what she was saying. Is that and then she, she went back to get her kids. That's what I thought. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, that it doesn't. The principle is still yeah. the thing. <laughs> However. I don't think that's okay to do that. Actually, I really, I really, do. really don't. You can't if 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 your car's in the way and illegally parked, it's absolutely okay to do. It. Okay, but that is that what? That's not what I don't know. Was she no. wasn't, she didn't she wasn't clear about that. She was just saying she needed a jump, and so she moved her car so she used it to jump the car. Right? No, no, no. She didn't use her car. Oh wow, I'm so confused. Yeah, you're very confused. She actually said she didn't use my car. She should have. Anyway. And why did she move it at all? I don't. I, we don't know. Unclear. Well, that's not good of her to do that part, that, make that part up. It's clear. not good to make the part up, but what I make up in my head was okay. that she had the car somewhere. The other person's car was near that person, was near hers, and that other person needed to get a jump. So she had to move that person's car and put whoever was going to jump her car where the other person, where her car was to get the jump because she didn't want to use her car. That's why she said, why didn't you just use yes. my car to jump? Yes. And now things are interesting. And I am a detective for knowing that. And yeah, I mean one. that was good. I was but, deeply confused by the by her the question. But anyway, asked. that's I, I if somebody moved my car. Look, if somebody had a McLaren, I wouldn't do it. But if it was some Toyota or something, I, I I would just do it. If it was a regular car that anyone could drive, I would just get in and move it back a little bit. And if someone did it to my car, I wouldn't mind at all. Yeah, you you know what you swayed me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I I, mean, I unless it was like a fucking high end car, then don't do it. I wouldn't do it. Here's here's actually what I'll say. I actually agree with you now, mm -hmm. but when she was explaining it, mm -hmm. I was imagining myself in that situation. And I, knowing me, and I think obviously a lot of people, her too, there's just something like that feels, it's like a violation of I guess so, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Your space, it's yeah. your car, and there's some stranger in it. Like uh, you yeah. didn't know. I guess so. If someone called me up in my room and was like, can we move your... I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Go ahead. I know. I understand. So yeah. it's not about the simple fact of someone else driving my car no. or wanting to. It's just like, you don't ask... I don't know, dude. It's just... Uh, it would bother me deeply if it happened to me. Right. But as an objective observer, I've been swayed by yeah. the case you've It's made. not... It's just... No, it wouldn't bother me. It really wouldn't. Okay. But I would add, still, again, it makes sense if you were angry, but it, yeah, it's not the end of the world. There's also a difference between walking up. Like if I'm walking up and somebody's in the way, I go, oh, fuck. Uh, all right, I'm just going to move it, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Then, fuck this. I'm moving this shit, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Right? Cause, yeah. Because it's like, the, the lady's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I had to. I got to get jumped. I got to go to the thing. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to, you know. Yeah. It's not a big deal. No, it's not a big if deal. If the person's like, yo, I moved the car because you're in the way. And then it's like, what the fuck are you well, doing? Well, sure. That's, that right? all comes down to But like, But there's different people. People think that because you move the car a certain way. Because, it, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. No, I think I think ultimately. My, fr my friend hit me with, he sent a picture and it was like, dude, am I being a get off my lawn kind of old man or if I call the tow truck company because there's somebody kind of blocking my driveway, but I could still get in. Oh, wow, dude. Don't do that. That's what I said. I was you like, can bro. You get out and in? Who cares? Yeah, I said, it's annoying and they're parking illegally and it's on your property, but like. Write a note if you. Yeah, that's you, what I told you know, him. know, you're not going to catch them that's in the act. Like, just leave a little note. Be like, hey, yeah. like, uh, yeah. That's what I told him. Tow them for a reason that actually isn't impeding in anything. I That's do, extreme. I, yeah, I do dude. think it's annoying when somebody parks like that, though. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, okay. I agree. The note is definitely worth doing in that situation. Yeah, but getting someone towed? Yeah. Uh-oh. Here we go. But I kind of finished it. Is it done or what? Yeah, pretty much. The, have to, the tattoo. Have to get it all the way up. I can't. The shirt's tight and it hurts. Saying you're uh, talking about how buff you are. Sore. 
Okay. And and sometimes when you get a tattoo, I don't know if you know that you got two. I have two, yeah. Um, and you don't have big ones, right? No, they're pretty yeah. small. They're right here. Um, you feel sick afterwards. Did you know that? I did know that, but did you big do it? ones? No, I didn't get sick at all. I have a buddy who got actually just like uh -huh. that. Got a big, huge, like beach scape, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it was the vid, yeah. big view of the beach. He t it was three sessions, I think. Yeah. He said each one. Oh, he really? Threw up during. Oh, it. wow. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. no, I mine doesn't. So I, I can't remember which one I did. I felt like shit afterwards, and I looked it up, and I'm like, oh, it happens. But oh, you didn't know? You just? I, I think I didn't know, and I looked oh, wow. it up. But, but last night I, I finished this. And I felt fine, and I went home, and I was like, "Oh no, I think I'm getting sick. This sucks. Who was I around? What did I?" Do? <laughs> and then I, and then I realized, like an hour later, I'm like, "Oh, it's the tattoo thing." And I woke up this morning, I felt great, but it's like it, it, it really does make you feel fucking sick, dude. Like sick in your stomach? No, right? no, no, oh. like uh, feverish. Oh, they say. I you guess can, that makes sense. You're the, yeah. being poisoned. Yeah. Like, when it gets in your body, right? Yeah, dude. I, I felt like I had a fever, and I didn't. Well, I, or, or I had a little one from that, but like. I mean, I woke yeah. up feeling fantastic, but like, dude, it, 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 it I, I was like, oh no, dude. That's the worst feeling. It is. In the beginning of the, the, when you know it's coming. It's the worst. And you're like, can't it just be three days from now? It's the like, worst. What the fuck? It, 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 it's Speed worse. It up. It's worse than being in bed knowing you're sick. Yeah, because it, the end is sooner. The no, worst not, part but for not, me is it, the end is the furthest no, from now. I, I, I agree. But the worst part about it is when you know you're sick and you're just going to spend the day in bed, you cancel everything, you lay in bed, and you go, all right, let me watch TV, let me get comfortable. Yeah, sure. It yeah. can kind of have a fun element yes, to it. Yes, yeah. But the day before is the worst because you still have to do your shit mm. and you're like, I think I'm getting, mm. but am I? But I'm still gonna go to this meeting. The not knowing that is, bad, is yeah. the worst because you, and you feel. I would argue you feel worse, even though you truly feel worse when you're full blown sick. You you feel it's it's so much worse, bro. Yeah, I'm swaying your mind a lot. This yeah, podcast. I mean you're making good cases. I'm I'm an open minded guy. You know it could be because of the magic mind, magically swaying your mind. Delicious. Ah, uh, all right. Do another one. Hey, Chris and Matt. I love you guys. Love Chris, you too. ever since you came to FSU in like 2018, I've been such a huge fan. Um, I but I need advice on communicating with little kids. Um, I just started my pediatric rotation. I'm in physical therapy school cool. and I've never been around kids before. Yeah. I don't have any little cousins or anything like that. This is like my first huh. time dealing with kids hmm. and I cannot communicate with them. Hmm for shit oh wow um i feel like i'm being so fake and i'm like what's your favorite color and they just <laughs> they could see the fakeness mm, and i yet. really want to communicate well with them because their therapy will be better if we have a real connection and i felt like my motherly instincts would kick in and they haven't yet huh. so chris what's your advice you know having two little boys did it come naturally did you have to learn it huh. um yeah any advice is appreciated thank you i think that you're thinking too much about how they're kids i knew you were gonna say that yeah you know i mean you don't have to be like hey bro but like what's up bro what up you know <laughs> but like uh yo did you see contagion with matt damon <laughs> but like but like you um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta have that in mind, but like, you're not, you can't be like, you don't baby them. I mean, I don't know how old, how old she's dealing with, I guess all ages. Yeah, I guess so. But, um, yeah. Also, it might have something to do with you. It probably has something to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you probably feel a certain way about it because of the way either you are or when you were a kid, how people treated you. Like it's, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I mean you're probably way better at it than you realize. I would, I would. I mean, just hearing her is like, yeah, she's great. Yeah, and it makes sense because you want to be better at your job. But the fact that you don't have any experience with kids leads me to believe that your gauge of whether you're doing a good job with them is a little off. Yeah, and obviously mm. it's going to take mm. a minute for you to to adjust. But I, kids mm. just like they're they're not in my experience they're not like that complicated. 
also, whatever you, you're doing and your instincts tell you to do are yeah. probably right. Also, you have imposter syndrome. You know, everyone has that. Like they think like, what am I doing? Am I doing it right? I'm, I'm not really. You know. That's true. But you know who doesn't have that? Me. I don't have it. Who, who doesn't have imposter syndrome? Uh-huh. Okay. For real? You don't have it? Nah, I'm good. Really? I, I should be doing the job I'm doing. That's not really what that is. Though. I know. Oh, okay. Well, I have imposter syndrome. You have no? You just said everyone. It. I have it a little bit. You do yeah. have it. Okay. Yeah. Everyone yeah. I think, I think when people actually don't have it, that they're probably not that like good at what they do. Yeah. It's like the uh, yeah. Dunning Kruger thing. Yeah. 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 You totally. Know? It's yeah. like if you think you're, if you're, the dumber you are, the less you realize how dumb you are. Oh, thank God are. I said, I think I do have it before you said what you said. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I knew you thought you did. Uh, yeah. I know. I'm you kidding. know? So, yeah. yeah. Of course. Hey, dude. Uh, hey, dude. It's all good. Wow. Gonna fight but, me. And it's so, fine. It's all good. So, and so I hard. have imposter syndrome, so I'm good at what I do. But yeah, have you ever at any point been like, I don't know how to how to connect with, not connect with, uh-huh. but to get through to, I mean, obviously not Billy, but. Um, no. No phase of his, I was going to no, say career. not yet. No phase of his career as a child so far? Not yet, no. Yeah, well, that's amazing. With Billy, it was a little different though. I mean, he, you know, he's 10 months, but like, yeah. but like with, with Billy, it's a little different because it's, Calvin, it, it's weird when you have two kids. One kid, the first kid, by, besides the fact that you're in love with this with this boy or, or girl you created, whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, you your whole life is completely changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, I turned my head; my head just hurt again because I hit the I hit the shelf on the phone. Wow! And, and yeah, so that's twice one day. So, <laughs> but but you. The set when the second one comes, it's not a whole life change. Sure. So yeah. it's it's uh, I went not anymore, but in the beginning I was like, oh, is everything? Am I still good at being a dad? Am I still because it didn't line up? It's with not the first rocking time? my world like it oh. did. And and does that mean anything? But it's just because. Yeah. It's more of it. It's not a difference. It's just more. Yeah. And and so and now now I feel completely and utterly uh, okay about it because it, it it's it, Billy is his own person and it's its own its own separate thing. You know. Yeah. But yeah, in that way, it was weird for me uh, connecting. But no, not not now. Yeah. But Billy's also the happiest baby in the world. It's really funny. Yeah. He doesn't I, I, stop smiling. I mean, I've been around plenty of babies and stuff, but like. This boy is just, I mean, he never stops smiling. Yeah, he doesn't stop smiling. It's so hilarious. They get that from me. No, he doesn't. Cal- and Calvin is a happy kid, but he was always like this. Yeah, he's a bit more of a serious. I mean, yeah. dude, Billy is just, it's, we call, I, I say he's got a deadlift smile because it goes from nothing to like completely yeah, yeah, lifted yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. It's hilarious. Yeah, he, he's a funny guy. Yeah. All right. Hi, Chris and Matt. I am a new viewer, watcher, Hell yeah. your podcast listener, and I am really impressed. Welcome. By the way, I love you. I have a question for you. I'm from Nebraska. Oh wow! And I'm I at a pizza restaurant yeah, you're right. with my boyfriend. Oh, I never Seems he's And at the end of yeah. our meal, we had the pizza, and I'm boxing it up, uh-huh. and the waitress comes with our. Bill and those little Andes mints, the yeah. green Yeah, I know. I haven't thought about them in a while. These, yep. I hate I have shit. the wrapper uh-huh. because my boyfriend ate all of them oh, yeah. and oh. didn't leave any for me. Oh. He should, he's being handled. How do I handle this? You should thank do him. Thank you for being true to you. Do I ignore it or do I address it? Thank you for being true to you in front of me. You're comfortable. As I am a little perturbed. No, she, she thank wanted you. An, Love your show. Keep up the good work. She wanted an Andy's mint chocolate thing. Yeah, I know. But so he felt comfortable enough in front of her to take it. Them all. Not what feeling comfortable to is. take them all for himself because he wanted them. No, that's being a <laughs> selfish fuck, dude. That's not. That's not like gifting her. Like thank the, you. The, you the, get the true me. <laughs> that's that's such a shitty way of looking at it. Wow, <laughs> dude, 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 dude. She I mean, has so done it. Has so taken the last thing yeah. or whatever. And Kristen's just like, why did you do that? And you're like, you have to be appreciative. Thank you. I'm showing you who I am. <laughs> it's <a> true. <laughs> That's the most bullshit thing ever, dude. A, this is the true me. Hey, dude, you, you, one, you go like this. And she's there and she's not eating it yet. And you go like this. You get to see the true me. <laughs> That's, you're welcome for the true me. Dude, it, that is like 
textbook asshole. You yeah, know? but um, dude, so you should obviously thank bring it up, and do, not in the thankful way. Thank bring you it up so much. And be for like, hey, you, did you not some. consider that I might want one too? And of course see what I he did. says. Of course I did. And then what did you do? I with gifted that you the true me. That's a, the biggest. I gifted you the true me. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Could you imagine on the planet. being on a first date? And that, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to get to know me? I, yeah, well, I don't understand what the problem is. I give you the for me. You're mm -hmm. up. Bowling, go. Everybody says they're most, this is, this would be good. Everybody mm -hmm. says the most important thing, especially women always say, the most mm -hmm. important thing is communication, yeah. being open and honest. Right. Well, here I am. This is me. Yeah. Now, are you going to finish that or what? You pull <laughs> yeah. her pasta over? In all, of my glory. Hey, out of her <laughs> In all of my glory. Hey, taking that out of her hand while she's eating it. In all my glory. Her sandwich. Taking the money out of her wallet. Here, okay. Here's, <laughs> here's another. Here, I'm going to go beyond that because what we do is in this podcast, we peel beyond the, the we peel the layers of the onions. We you're we, already in a terrible zone, so we, you're going even more terrible. Yes. Okay. We we push past the we we move the curtain. We look not just at the front yard, completely into the neighbor's house. Right. Okay. Yeah. So don't. This is something that is just nuts to me. You eat a meal, and they bring you a fucking piece of bullshit candy afterwards. Dude, I, I didn't say I wanted that. I didn't order it. What the fuck are you doing? It's such a, uh, here you go, thing. <laughs> I'm not a dog. Dude, I ordered what I wanted. I paid for what I wanted. Why are you giving me a fucking shit candy, by the way, here's, that here's nobody the really wants? Andy's are actually a step up from what it usually is, honestly. Usually it's, it's usually the shitty circular peppermint thing. Even worse, with the pink in the middle. Oh Those are the God, worst dude. ones. Dude, whoever liked one of those But things. here's the thing. At least... That makes a little sense. What did Be I just? Because it's a mint. Yes. Yeah, like okay. you ate. Here's a mint. But it's candy. But okay. Yeah. But the chocolate has mint in it too. But still, right, right, right. it's just like I'll get that if I want that. It's it. You might as well just hand me a fucking blow dryer. Uh, uh, I don't need that. A chicken wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a random piece. Here, of here's food. more food. You're full. Here's more. Yeah, Here, yeah, I have yeah, a chicken yeah. wing. And, wow. and they just put it on the fucking check too. They put it on the check. It's yeah. like don't give me candy. Just for no reason. God, that I've never even thought about this. This is you really, haven't? really weird. It's, well, it's just, so it's weird. It's been happening since I, uh, yeah, yeah. I was a kid. No, I, I'm always like, dude, here's another one. Uh, airplane? And then well, here's a, a wet nap for you. For no fucking reason. I'm sitting in, if you're in, you're sitting in the plane, here's a, here's a moist towelette. For why do they? What? Why do they do that on planes? Do they still do that, by the for way? For what, dude? I go like this. I don't want one. Thank you. Every every person ever next to me goes like this. Ooh, what do you want? Wet hands for you know, fucking what? You know what it is actually. People they just like being pampered. Like free free shit. Shit. Yep. It doesn't matter what it is, dude. It's so. It also, dude. That sucks too. Yeah. And then this big of a square. Yeah. Can't find the. Wait, is this the wet nap? And now? It's oh, this it's the big. wet nap. Yeah. That big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, this yeah. big, dude. Yeah. And you're just like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then yeah. there's soap on your hands or whatever? The soap on the hands, the it's residual just such soap on the hands shit, is, is terrible. Dude, start the movement. No, thank you. I don't want that wet nap. I did. It, I, I took it the other day because I had sticky, I actually had sticky hands. I was like, wow, this is the first time it ever came in hand. Mm, see, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that also with the candy to take this, to make this uniform, mm -hmm. also do with the candy, take the candy, go back into the kitchen mm -hmm. and hand them to the chefs and say, at the restaurant. I didn't want this. I didn't order this. I don't want this. Take it back. How much is this? Did you charge me for this? Right, yeah. Uh, this is this better not be on my bill. It's just three <laughs> little shitty peppermints. Uh, I have eaten them, though. I, that's that's the other thing that sucks is like Dude, sometimes those, you'll just eat them. Those there. candies taste like shit. I thought you said you liked them. The the peppermint ones? Oh, uh, the I thought Andy's. You meant the, no, I, I like Andy's, Andy's yeah, yeah, chocolate. Okay, okay. Again, that's a little yeah, bit the of a peppermints step up. Are the, those are the worst, man. The peppermint like they're not it's not just mints. And when they when you're done with them, your mouth has like a seven coat. layers of a sugar coat. on yep. uh, inside it's it. It's disgusting. And guess what? You totally forget the good meal you just had because you got this shit film layer upon layer of fucking shit ass peppermint in your mouth. So disgusting. It's fucking gross. It's just, whoever made that shit, that's like such, stop doing that. But everybody. they're so rich. Whoever made peppermints, you know, like that, and 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 like just for, I mean, they're dead. They're long and dead how now. But they like, get, yeah, how did they get to be so? Lucky? That's the thing, dude. It's just it's it's a waste of space. It's a waste <sighs> of fucking space. Here's a little peppermint ball that fucking sucks, 
It's a circular disc. You're going to put it in your mouth. It's basically plastic, and I'm going to cover your mouth with film, and you're not going to remember the really nice enchiladas you just uh -huh. had. Uh-huh. You're not going to remember at all the really good meal you just had. And guess what? In 20 minutes, it's going to taste worse. Yes. Yep. Yep. In your fucking and, mouth. And, and you're going to have a sip of water and be like, oh, this water tastes like fucking shitty, yep. disgusting, sugary yep. peppermint. So here's the movement. Yeah. If you have a restaurant and you hand out stuff, hand out little pieces of dog shit. Yeah. Same thing. It is the same thing. Oh, well, why would you give me this? Or your own shit. Because it, the dog's it's hard to collect. Why would you shit. give me this? Oh, uh, well, it's better than peppermint. It's the same thing. I'm giving yeah. you something you didn't ask. You know how restaurants usually give you little peppermints? <laughs> okay, well, those are really terrible. And so is this really terrible. So there's really no difference. Yeah. So here you go. Anyway, I'm giving you my butt. My, what well, comes from my butt. Yeah. Hope Gross. you enjoyed your, your time here at Denny's. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway. Is there another one? Oh, the shit the, the way shit you did the it. Way did it. Hi, guys. This is Shannon. Hey. Um, I called in before with the private dinner party question. Oh, yeah. And was rightfully roasted for my monologue and oh, very thin no, Christmas tree. But we loved it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. We did so love thank it. Thank you we for both. making me laugh and Aww, keeping sweet. me honest. Very cool. You're sweet. Um, as you might be able to tell, I am nearly eight months pregnant awesome i was gonna say something um, and i thought wait but you never she? say something it's yeah, you my husband and i's first baby amazing Congrats. it's a girl and we're very excited Aww. eight months quick shout out to my husband brian who is away at sea for work oh we oh. have about six weeks until he can come home and we have this baby yeah um so on the kind of theme of having children in childhood my new question for the two of you is what is your earliest oh. childhood memory Oh, dude, I don't know who Thanks so much. Love you guys. Good question. Like, I, 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 well, before we even get into it, there are so many stories I've heard about me that I don't know if I remember it or if I just know the story. We've, we haven't talked about this exactly. We've talked about versions of this, yeah. how other people's stories, yeah. certainly other people's stories about, I agree, me as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I think over the years, I've heard them enough where I'm like, this yeah. happened to me and I remember. What it. I can remember is the day we brought you home. Really? Yeah. Wow. I remember. I remember two things about that day. I remember. One, your life was from that point on much worse. And two. <laughs> no, I, I, I remember your fingers were wrinkly. Uh, and I was in the back seat while you were in the car seat. And I asked mom, well, I said, why are his fingers all wrinkly? And he said, sometimes babies have wrinkly fingers like when they're born and stuff. And then later on that day, or I guess it could have actually been the next day, mm -hmm. but, but Grandpa Bam was over and, and everyone. And they got me uh, a He Man toy. Mm. and um i i opened it up and i and i saw the toy and i said thanks you only got me this because he's here now whoa dude mom and dad should have known if they didn't already know that you were in trouble from that yeah. fucking day forward but i was wow. just too smart i was too smart at three what and a half little... at three and a half is crazy to say that's to, to that think. is nuts yeah it's like cal saying that yeah i, I couldn't imagine that i guess i could no cal though. would yeah he yeah. might say that yeah so yeah kids are smart you, you bro. get a taste of your own medicine now. yeah i know i know and every time he does some shit like that i go like yeah okay yeah you deserve I it i get it i do deserve it uh my earliest memory was how old were you when you were in first grade like how old is a kid in i first don't know grade? how old is somebody in first grade do we know uh like six seven yeah maybe okay so then i was three or four okay yeah okay that's when mine same sure yeah, yeah. and uh hmm. remember miss antoine of course first grade right i'm right about that I had her in kindergarten, I think. Oh, well then the, I, I thought I was younger. Okay, then that because I sense. had Miss Harlem for first grade. Okay, then it was kindergarten. When cool. you were in kindergarten, so I was you were like five. I was two. Okay, so okay. really young. Yeah. Yeah. This I, I remember being really young because yeah. mom was holding me. Right. Okay. Okay. This oh, is a what? This is a crazy memory. Okay. Wow. We went. Mom was going to talk to Miss Antoine. Like it wasn't like you were in trouble. It was like right. a parent teacher okay. thing. I was with her because I wasn't in school yet, uh -huh. and she was carrying me. Mm -hmm. And it was Miss Antoine. Remember her assistant? What was her name? I don't remember. The was it, it was like Montes, Miss Monta, oh, Monta, yeah. Montefiore or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Really I tall, do. nice woman. Yeah. No, I don't remember what she looked like, but I remember that name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever that anyway, sounds like. They, that. It was the two of them. Yeah. And <clears throat> Miss Antoine was called Miss Montefiore because it's something like that. Mm -hmm. Miss Antoine and Miss Montefiore were making such a big deal out of me. Mm -hmm. And I remember were, this. I was so small. Yeah. And Miss, Miss Antoine. Honestly, just straight, I had her later too, so I knew yeah. her as well. Just straight up the nicest woman on the yeah, planet. Yeah, she was so Earth. nice. Like I even remember just the warmth. She's the sweetest woman. She was woman. great, yeah. Uh, and she was making the biggest deal out of me. Uh. But because she was old, she had a very like old, like puffy, wrinkly, uh -huh. very particular too, face. You know? And and 
she was coming up to me and so demonstrative and so like yeah sweetly and right. making but you know I me mean? and she get closer and closer and i just thought okay these are those things in that book that i have the dinosaur book if if i stay still oh my sh- it won't get me well you definitely remember that that wasn't a story that was told to you because you that's a yeah. thought you had no i remember all of this extremely well i was terrified but i, I also somehow knew i was safe because mom was being so right. reciprocal of her sweetness Whoa. so i was just like i was like if i just stay still if i just stay still if i just stay still and i remember she got like so close to me like she was like oh no, she was no, one of those, baby, yeah. baby. and then she was just like this and i was just like such a fucking idiot you know uh-oh <laughs> She's one of those things in the book I was reading. The dinosaurs, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a T Rex. It was like a scene from Jurassic Park for real. When the, the dinosaurs. Oh, like oh, that, you know? oh! Such a nice lady. Oh, such a nice lady. Uh oh, <laughs> she's actually a dinosaur. <laughs> the biggest idiot that's never been on tripping so <laughs> hard on acid. <laughs> yeah. I remember that was the day I gave you acid. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that was what did it. Yeah, um, not funny though, dude. Yeah, it is weird that the you way remember that. Work, what, uh, this is why they say that you're fucking book was written before you were like four yeah right yeah you totally, know yeah it's just like well they say two to five right that's the zone well, where you really I, get shaped I, I, almost I, like entirely. I, I, I guess so but i mean like there's really a lot of evidence where you know if you're if you were in foster care the first year of your life mm-hmm. it's hard for you because you didn't have just your, the first year yeah ju- yeah yeah yeah, yeah but, i mean that makes so much yeah. sense so many like minor but yeah. hugely important developmental stages yeah. there my therapist was telling me that she was like, she gave you an example, like, you know, when like you're, cause it was, we were, she talked about this when I had Cal first uh, and I was like, you have to be attuned to what your baby needs. And you know how sometimes you want to go like, Hey, look at me. And then they try to look away and like, you're like, no, I'm over here. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like that that's technically in a very small way little trauma because you're like the baby's like i don't want to be doing that yeah but what you know what i mean and that changes that make that develops oh, you no. yeah i know i know it's crazy life and, is so hard well dude. that's why when when you go to like i know it is hard and like you that's the kind of thing where it's like you're not giving your kid what you need but what it's need. not your fault what they need yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what they need but it's not your fault of course so it's like mom and dad have as every mom and dad has fucked up but yes. you to 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 realize that this is a huge thing I learned in rehab. But like to realize that because the, your your my knee jerk reaction is to be like, no, they were great. No, no, they didn't fuck up. Yeah. No, that's not their fault, and it's not their fault. But no, that's the key. It's not right. It's fault. not their fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they did mess up, sure. and just as I'm going to mess up. Well, no right? parent ever has ever not messed up oh, like thousands of times. Right. But in my rehab, I, the, one of the main things was people were like, no, I don't want to blame my parents for that. Like, mm. you know, and it was like, you, you don't have to blame them for that. But that is what happened. And it's okay. And and you can have space for both feelings. You know mm. what I mean? Didn't mean to get so deep, but. Mm. Didn't mean to get so deep, but. But wow, look at your muscles, man. That's if you want to go man. over, listen to the, all the Lifeline Luxuries, go over there, Lifeline Luxury. It's patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. And uh, we keep moving up, you know. But the Lifeline Luxury it's is fantastic. Uh, and then uh, all my new d- tour dates are on sale. ChrisLea.com. I'll be in Saginaw. And I'll be in uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. And a bunch of different places. I got Vancouver coming up soon. That first show sold out. Second show selling out. So go get those tickets. And Kelowna, I'll see all thousands of you soon. And you want to make sure you subscribe to the Private Record channel on YouTube. Uh, episode 3 coming out this week. It is crazy. You got a couple episodes out now. Peep the last one. It's super wild. Uh, and yeah, what else? Oh, yeah. You wanted one on one on one with me, Matt Delia? Go to mattdelia.com. Advice session just for you and me. Uh, and the merch, lifelinemerch.com. Don't forget to get the merch. We love you. <laughs>